is one thing to battle cancer once, and it is another when it returns again. A Central Kentucky mother is dealing with that reality, but she is not alone in her fight. Tonight, how a dance studio in Georgetown is hoping you will want to get moving and help a mother make sure her daughters continue doing what they love. In dance, it takes hours of practice to compete. It takes a whole lot of heart to win. Young dancers like Sydney Welch spend countless hours at United Talent in Georgetown getting every move just right. They both love to dance. They've danced since they were little. Having two girls in dance, Stephanie Welch has spent a lot of time in a studio. She's become a beloved dance mom, but there's something standing in her way of seeing her daughters dance in the future cancer. In 2013, Stephanie was diagnosed with breast cancer, and now it's returned. Yeah, it was very important to me. I want my girls to stay in dance no matter what happens. To see that that happens, the heart of this dance family is stepping up to help one of their own. I feel like I've been through a lot of this with her. She's very dear to my heart. When Kathy Stokely and the other dance moms learned Stephanie was sick again, they knew they had to do something. Kind of all of us had it. There were about five of us moms who kind of brainstormed together and came up with the idea. The idea, a dance-a-thon. The instructors here quickly began planning United for Stephanie, a night to help raise money to help pay for dance fees for Stephanie's girls. It'll be wonderful just to see her get back what she's given to all of us. A community turning up the music and using dance to spread love to one of their own. It's just amazing, this little community, what they're, they're doing to help my family. Well, they need you to dance. The United for Stephanie Dance A Thon is Monday, September 19th from 5 30 to 8 30 at Scott County Middle School Gym. There is a $10 donation at the door and a raffle with several fun prizes. For more information on the event and how you can donate, just go to WKYT.com and check out this story.